Over 100,000 objects at the Egyptian Museum. So what are the must-see items? This massive monument shows the royal pair Amenhotep III and his wife Tai, along with their three daughters. This is the largest ancient Egyptian family group statue ever created. This statue shows King Khufu, who built the Great Pyramid of Giza. Ironically, this is only 7.5 centimeters tall. The figurine is the only known contemporary three-dimensional representation of this ruler. This statue shows King Khafra, who built Giza's second biggest pyramid. The sculpted group statue depicts King Menkor between two ladies. Goddess Atha is on his right, and Goddess that is on his left. The ruler who unified Egypt's two regions. His dark complexion and crossed arms make him connected with the god Osiris, the god of death, fertility, and resurrection. Cleopatra may be more well-known, but Hatshepsut was the longest reigning female pharaoh in ancient Egypt. The pharaoh possessed an androgynous appearance. He had a female figure with wide hips and breasts, but he was a man with six daughters. The unfinished head of Nefertiti, the beautiful wife of Pharaoh Akhenaten. Pharaoh Akhenaten, Queen Nefertiti, and the princesses, worshipping the Aten. Akhenaten's coffin, in the Amarna art style, reflects his revolutionary shift to monotheism. It breaks with tradition, emphasizing the Aten sun disc. The statue is notable for its detailed portrayal of Old Kingdom royal attire and beauty, showcasing ancient Egyptian artistry and the queen's high status. Two copper statues of King Pipi I are the oldest known life-size metal sculptures in the world. The statue is renowned for its realism and regal posture, exemplifying Middle Kingdom artistry. Its intricate details highlight the king's power and divine connection. One of the most striking items in the museum, Prince Rehotep, and his wife Nofret are shown as seated statues in painted limestone. The colors of these statues are exceptionally well maintained, as are their realistic eyes, which are inlaid with rock crystal, calcite, and highlighted in copper. The outermost golden shrine of King Tutankhamun. It's made of wood and decorated with gold. The golden throne of Tutankhamun. Anubis was an afterlife god who protected the deceased by guarding their spirits and punishing mortals who damaged a sacred tomb. A canopic box from Tutankhamun's tomb. This is where his organs were placed after death. Yuya wasn't a pharaoh. He married a noblewoman and their daughter became Tutankhamun's grandmother. Amun is the most significant god of ancient Egypt, representing the sun, and his wife is Mut the Egyptian sky goddess. The Egyptian banknote depicts a seated writer. It depicts the scribe sitting in a cross-legged pose, which was the usual posture for scribes in ancient Egyptian art. To save time, a guide can help you find all the must-see items quickly. Wishing you a safe and enjoyable journey.